So the president told his supporters at a rally in Erie, Pennsylvania, that the Me Too movement keeps him from saying what he really wants to say. He didn't elaborate, though. I mean, what do you think he could have been talking about? Well, I can tell you what the Me Too movement isn't preventing him from saying. It didn't stop him from saying that it'll grab women by their private parts. It also didn't stop him from mocking and joking about a sexual assault victim. It didn't stop him from calling protesting victims of sexual assault mobs either. The definition of mob is a large crowd of people that is intent on causing trouble or violence. I think he's a little confused. These peaceful protesters are a large crowd of people intent on stopping trouble and violence against women. If anything, they are the anti-mob. The real mobs are the mobs of white supremacists whom he called very fine people in Charlottesville last year. Speaking of mobs, what do you call the crowds of almost all white people at his rallies chanting to lock up Hillary Clinton? While it seems as if every two months another Trump associate is actually getting locked up, if anything, there is a mob of Trump associates heading to prison. I don't know, but I don't think the president even has the right to utter the phrase Me Too on a public stage. 19 different women have accused him of sexual harassment, abuse, or rape. If anyone deserves to be locked up, it's him. You know what, Brian? After this segment, I'm sure we're going to get attacked by those on the right for sticking up for women. They'll call us beta males and soy boys and tell us that we have squeaky voices. I don't really care, do you?